Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I today I come with a review of the eyeshadow palette that I purchased on my haul. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to link it down below. This is the Perfect 10 color by Nika K and this is the Absolute Collection. Um, as you may know, I've been playing around with this since I got it. Um, and one of the main reasons that I got this eyeshadow palette is because Urban Decay recently released an eyeshadow palette or a pressed pigment palette called the Electric Palette. So I wanted to see if this will be a more affordable option for you guys who are in the market for vibrant colors and to not have $50 to spend. So let's start. I have all the pros and cons of both eyeshadow palettes here. I'm going to start with the Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. I do not own the eyeshadow palette for all of you guys who are asking and wondering. I'm basing my information on other reviews, videos, swatches. I've done crazy researching on the Urban Decay electric palette to do this review for you guys. Um, so let's get started. First of all, the electric palette has 10 shades and those 10 shades are all neon. From all these neon shades, only one is completely matte. I've been looking at all the different swatches possible to be able to compare the shades and one only is matte. Uh, four are semi-matte and I'm calling them semi-matte because they have a slightly shimmer on them but it's not really noticeable and the other five are shimmer or metallic some even mentioned that can be frosty the pros of this eyeshadow palette is one of them is that it comes with a dual sided brush which I like because Urban Decay eye, um, eyeshadow brushes are really good another thing that I like about the Urban Decay palette is that the shades have names and each shade has a name in the packaging. It's not like a little plastic that you just put over so you can read it. No, the names are in the packet, so they're not gonna get lost. They're not gonna fade out. I don't know, I just think it's a really cool idea. The color payoff of the Urban Decay shows is bomb. It's really crazy. It's really pigmented. They do tend to fade a little bit with the time, but I believe that that happens to every eyeshadow, not only this eyeshadow palette. Plus the packaging, it's really cool, it's really colorful, really vibrant, and it's really sturdy. So those are the things that I like about the eyeshadow palette. The cons for me, first of all, is the warning that has on the back. For those of you who don't know, Urban Decay Electric Palette has a warning on the back mentioning the four shades of the palette, which are Slow Burn, Savage, Guild, and Urban, are not intended for the eye area. These four eyeshadows have red undertones or red-ish undertones. Because of the payoff that I mentioned before, some of the shades can stain your eyelids. The main shade that was mentioned a lot in the reviews is called Savage, which is the rich pink eyeshadow that you'll see in the palette. Um, the greens, the blues, they all can stain your eyelids, so please use a base with this eyeshadow palette in particular. If not, the color will stay in your eyes and you'll have purple eyelids for about a week or so. And another thing that many of the reviews that I read mentioned is that most of the people are upset that this eyeshadow palette does not have a matte yellow. And I'm one of those people. I believe that a matte yellow is a really, really convenient color because it's, it pops. It's not neutral, but you can really work with it. And you can actually make it more wearable and more neutral appearing for the eye. So, that's another con. So, that's the Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. The one that I'm reviewing right now, personally, is the, it's this one. It's, as you can see, some of the shades in this eyeshadow palette are not in the Urban Decay, such as this gold, this white, and this light pink. And of course, the matte yellow. This eyeshadow palette has three mattes, which is the yellow, the green, and this really vibrant blue. It has three semi mattes or pearl looking, and it's this pink, this red, and this blue right here. And it has four metallic finishes, which are this three right here, and this really light 
like pale pink. The pros of this eyeshadow palette first is that it has nice color payoff and they're really easy to blend. Of course, this is a more day appropriate makeup because of the light shades on the on the front. But it can also be night with this darker colors, especially the gold right here that you can kind of see in my hand because I tried to record this before. Um, another thing, of course, is that this is more affordable. This was only $2.99, okay? And it, it works really well. Plus, many of the reviews that I saw were complaining about the packaging and how this is, um plastic and it can break easily I completely disagree I dropped this eyeshadow palette as soon as I got it because my cat jumped on my desk nothing happened to them it did get a little scratch on the top but all the eyeshadows were completely fine so this packaging is really sturdy and my desk is not short at all because I'm a really tall person um, plus another thing that I found really interesting is that in the back you can see over here that some of the shades are even wearable for your skin. They're, they can be wear as blushes and they will not clot your pores. They will not look patchy and they'll blend easily and give you a, light, a slight sheen of like shimmer looking. Um, which are of course the pink undertones which are this pink, the red, and the slight pink. I think that this pink will not really show up, but this two are really, really good. And I already tried the the rich pink as a blush, and it's really, really beautiful. And it, the color payoff is really nice. The cons of this eyeshadow palette is one, and I think it's the most important one of all, is that you do need a base for this eyeshadows. That way the color will show better, more vibrant, and it will last longer on your eyes so any white eye pencil or primer that you can use will be perfect with these another thing that i don't like about this eyeshadow is this really dark blue the color is beautiful and if you work it out it'll be nice but it has a lot of fallout and um it can be a little chalky so from all of this shades i think this is the bad one um it's kind of what I heard about Revolt on the Urban Decay Electric Palette, which is the silver. That it can be chalky, it has a lot of fallout. Plus, I believe that silver is a really hard color to work with. So, they're kind of the same. And the last thing of this eyeshadow palette, which I do not like, is that the shades don't have any name. If by example, I really like this, I am, this yellow right here. So if I want to purchase only the yellow, I be I have to be looking at the eyeshadows and try to figure out which one is truly the eyeshadow that I want because this doesn't have any names. So this is my final review. Do I believe that this is a, a dupe for the Urban Decay? Not at all. But I do believe that this is a more affordable option. It has great pigmentation. Um, it's really easy to work with. It's really affordable. So for all the girls who are really looking for nice colors, nice bright brown colors, especially for summer that it's here. I believe this is a really, really good option. I'm gonna leave the links for Urban Decay, for Nika K, plus some of the reviews that I've seen that were really, really helpful. I'm gonna link it down below because they even have dupes and different colors for the Urban Decay that I'm not mentioning right now because this video will be super long, but you can go check them out down there, plus the haul. I hope you like it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. God bless you all and bye-bye.